Hello and welcome to this demonstration of our Lumen system, which is our online tool for tracking important information such as your child's grades, attendance, and lunch information. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to log in and access some basic information as a parent. We begin by visiting the GCMS website, which is www.gcmsk12.org. Once you've reached this website, you will notice there is a section marked Quick Links in the top right of the page. And we are going to be visiting the Lumen Portal, which is our main place for signing in. Once we click on the Lumen Portal, you'll see there are three boxes where we need to enter information. The first one, the location ID, identifies the building where your child attends school. If your child is in the elementary school, you will enter four. If your child is in the middle school, enter 5. If your child is at high school, enter 6. You will then enter the login name, which was given to you by Mr. Worthington. You will follow that with the password, which also would have been given to you by Mr. Worthington. If you ever have trouble remembering these passwords or you lose your password, you may click the Lumen Help link on the previous page and fill out a form to email Mr. Worthington and he will get back to you as soon as he can. Once I've filled in all of the information, I'm going to click on Access PC Environment since I am using a, a traditional PC computer. If you are using a uh, tablet or a different device, you can choose one of those other options. Okay, we are signed in and you'll notice that you have an icon for Parent Lumen Access on your, you can kind of think of this as your Lumen desktop once, you're, once you are signed in. And we're going to click on that to open it up. And when you first visit the Parent Access, you'll notice that there is a user information access agreement that you can click on and you need to uh, make sure that you read the terms and you may then accept all of the terms and click apply in order for uh, you to, to gain full parent access to your child's information. You now have access to your child's information on Lumen. However, before we take a look at this particular student, I do want to point out that if you have other students that attend school in our district, you may use the Add My Other Students button in the top right of the screen. When you click on this button, it's going to ask for the ID number of the student you wish to add, the parent access ID associated with that student and the password. You'll notice that you have been given different passwords in order to log in for each of your students. By entering those here, you will then be able to request access for that student and you can then see all of your students in one screen together rather than having to log in separately for each student. Let's take a look at our student. On this page, there are a number of important informational items you can use as a parent. First off, underneath Course Info, you will see all of the courses in which your student is currently enrolled, as well as the instructor for each course. If you click on the More button, you will be able to see a more detailed description on the right side of your screen, including your student's current grades. If you have any questions relating to your student's grades, we recommend you use the link for your teacher in order to email that teacher. This will work best by right-clicking on the link, choosing Copy Email Address, and then entering, um, pasting that email address into your email client, such as Gmail. Moving down, we have Classroom Activities and Assignments. And similarly, I will click the More button in order to get a more detailed description. Now, I'm recording this at the beginning of the year, so there is not um, much entered in this section right now. Whether your teacher will use this as a, as a place to regularly post assignments is up to that teacher. So I recommend uh, keeping good contact with your teacher and they will let you know their preferred method of communication, whether it would be by using this box or through something different. But any assignments that your teacher wishes to post on Lumen will appear in this section. Underneath attendance in info, I will once again click the more button to see a more detailed description. And this allows you to see if your student has any absences or tardies. At this point, this student has not been absent or tardy, which is good. 
uh, because it's pretty early in the year. But anytime that student is absent or tardy, it will appear on this section, so you can track that. Discipline summary. Similarly, uh, this student has not been getting in too much trouble yet, which is a very good thing, but you will see the date of the offense and the offense if a uh, student is needs to be uh, re receiving a discipline referral. For lunch info, I will once again click more, and you will be able to see the transactions that your student has completed in or, um, for all the lunches that he or she has bought recently. You'll also notice it does keep track of your current balance over here on, in the box on the left-hand side, and you may then contact the school in order to uh, to correct that if you need to add more money or if you just want to check up on your balance, you can always find it there. And those are some of the major items within our Lumen system. Remember, if you have any questions, you may visit the GCMS website and click on the Lumen Help link in the top right of the page. This will provide you with a contact form to get in touch with Mr. Worthington, our technology coordinator, and he will be help, happy to help you in any way that he can. Stay tuned with the GCMS website for more tutorials such as this, and have a great school year.